you have any questions about any of the content in this video, just drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Enjoy the video. Okay, let's make a start on the first three questions for rounding. Of course, they're going to start fairly easy and they'll get progressively more difficult as we go on. Okay, so 1-8 says round 355 to the nearest 100. Okay, well, because we're above or including 50 here, we've got 355. We need to round up, so we round up to 400. Okay, uh, part B, round 8,596 to the nearest 1,000. Okay, so we're going to look at the hundreds column, and because it's a 5 or above, we need to round up. So this rounds to 9,000. Okay, and for part C, we need to round 1,406 to the nearest 10. So we need to look at the single unit column, and it's above 5, well, it's 5 or above. So we need to round up, so we get 1,410. Okay, so for the next set of questions, we need to round 9.89 to one decimal place. So we look at the second decimal place and it's a nine, so we need to round up to get 9.9. .9. Okay, part B, round 11.345 to two decimal places. So because it's a two decimal places, we look at the third decimal place. And as it's a five or above, we round up to get 11.35. And for the final one, we need to round 0.544 to one decimal place. So we look at the second decimal place and it's a four or below. So it just stays as 0.5, we round down. Just before we carry on with the video, I'd like to remind you that a full in-depth course is available for this topic over on my website. It includes everything you need from the theory to complete worked examples and even your own exam at the end to test yourself. Head on over to bendthetutor.com to see all the courses I have available that guarantee your grades will go to the moon. Enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so round 47,371 to the nearest thousand. Okay, so we need to look at the hundreds column and it's a three, so it's four or below, so we round down, so we just get a 47,000. Okay, uh, part B, we need to round £34.50 to the nearest pound. So we look at the 10 pence column, and as it's a five or above, we need to round up. So we get 35 pounds. Okay, let's look at part uh, C. So, just rub that out. Okay, so part C says the average attendance across all the games of the World Cup was 82.5% of capacity, and we need to round 82.5 to two significant figures. Okay, so we need to look at the third significant figure, and as it's a five or above, we need to round up, so we get 83%. Okay, so the next set of questions are talking about significant figures instead of decimal places or hundreds or thousands. Okay, so the first one says round 4,012 to three significant figures, so we need to look at the fourth significant figure, and as it's a two, we round down, so we get 4,010. Okay, round 1.23 to two significant figures. Again, we look at the third one. It's a three, so we round down again. So we just get 1.20. Always include the zero so that we can show the examiner that we have indeed rounded down. Okay, and the final one, um, round 0 0.0354 to one significant figure. So the first significant figure is the first non-zero um, number that we come across, and that's the three. So we need to look at the second significant figure, which is the 5. And because it's a 5 or above, we round up. So our answer becomes 0 0.04. Just before we get into the next question, if you'd like to get some one-on-one -on -one support, just drop me an email over at tutoring at bendthetutor.com and we can arrange a session. Okay, this will be our last question for this video. So we're told Tommy performs the following calculation, which we can see here. And we need to round the answer to one decimal place. Okay, so here's our answer. So to one decimal place, we look at the second one, and it's a five or above, it's a six. So we need to round up. So we get 1,566.6 as our final answer. Okay, uh, part B, it says round the answer to the nearest integer. Okay, so remember an integer is just any whole number, positive or negative, as well as zero. So that just means round it to the nearest whole number, basically. Okay, so we've got our answer here. So we need to look at the first decimal place, and it's a five or above. So we need to round it up. 
So we end up with 1,567 as our final answer. Okay, so there's two more parts of this question. So we've got part C, which is round the answer to the nearest 10. Okay, so to the nearest 10, we need to look at the single unit column, which is a seven. So we need to round up to get 1,570. And for the final question for this video, it says round the answer to the nearest thousand. Okay, so the nearest thousand is this column here, of course. So we need to look at the hundreds column and it's a five or above. So we round up to 2,000.